Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Davida from Medium of the Light Tarot. Um, I am back at you with another pick a card reading. This is going to be what is your person thinking and feeling about you? One, two, and three. This is a jadeite tiger and a large rose quartz, or rose quartz, a large quartz. And then this is amethyst. So once again, it's one, two, and three. And in the comments, um, please write which one you chose. So if you find yourself back here, you'll know which one you have already watched. And of course, you might be drawn to more than one. And you can also pick um, the cards through the numbers of when each video starts. So let's start with number one. I have a new camera, so I'm trying to get used to the angle. So here is the tiger. Now what is your person thinking and feeling about you? Call to do lots of cards on this particular one. And let's see. Lots of cards. All right, let's see what we got here. Starting off is the Five of Cups, so, so they're feeling that there was a loss and they're focusing on that loss in this card. And you have become very silent in this situation, or they have. And then the next is the Wounded Warrior. Someone's on the defensive. And someone in their mind is going over and over the sharp words that were said. I think there was some deception or someone thought there was deception. Somebody thought they had it all. And, you know, this isn't, I'm gender specific, but they view you as their empress, the abundant person who has it all. They still want to come towards you, and they're contemplating giving you a message of love. And then we've got the Two of Cups here. And it's like both of you still want to pour this love into each other. There's two King of Pentacles right next to each other. Yeah, they view you as very abundant. They want to come forward with, with you with abundance. There's the soulmate card, giving and taking, and wish fulfillment. So they still want this with you. There's the sun card, the happiest in the deck, and the world card. Somebody got scared in the situation and ran away. Someone lacked... <clears throat> Um, 
flexibility in the situation. But I see a lot of positive cards here. A lot of positive cards. They, they still want to move forward with you. There is a bit of, I don't know, I think they were overly, um, how do I say it? It's like they think they, they thought that this had to be perfect in every way. And if it wasn't perfect, then they needed to back away. They've got this um, idealistic way of viewing this relationship. Well, any relationship, actually. And I think that the argument or thing that kind of um, pulled you guys apart a bit was this idealism, this, you know, I have to come at you as the king of pentacles, this super abundant, got it all together person. Let's see what we get with these oracle cards. Yeah, I mean, with this information that I'm getting from the cards, this isn't anything that's a deal breaker. They just kind of have to get over this. Well, I have to approach you in the perfect way, in the perfect manner, and I have to have everything perfectly set up before I can move you know, forward with you. Because what I'm feeling and sensing is, you know, they want this wish fulfillment with you. They want to be able to give you what they want, what they want to give you. They want to make sure that it's almost like too, um, you guys might be a, a couple where there's lots of ego involved, like you're attractive, they're attractive, both of you are financially abundant, and you're very caught up in like the, the, the self-image of what other people, the image of what other people see of you, you know, and this is also the soulmate card. So I think this is just the, you know, the ego getting in the way of this situation. Because I've got the new phase, rekindling, renew, you know, a transformational growth and changing one's mind on this outmoded way of thinking. It's like the two of you are triggering each other for, um, for growth. You know, and you are going to um, get a call from them. As it says, someone expresses love, a message of love. Maybe it's a text message. I'm thinking of you. And they're trying to let you know. And they're reminiscing about you. They still want to make new memories with you. So if you thought this was the end, in no way, shape, or form is this the end. I kind of feel like this was your guys' wake-up call to be like, not everything is going to be perfect. You can't have, like, the perfect marriage, the perfect everything, you know. The perfect house, you know. Yeah, you guys need to make healthy choices. They need to make health, healthy choices like self-love and self-acceptance and saying, I don't have to come, you know, they don't have to come to you as this perfectly put together person. I think both of you need to have some more flexibility in your thoughts about things. I feel like you're very, you guys are very traditional. You know, and, and this situation brings a transition, a new beginning. And then I think you felt stabbed in the back by them. But I think that they are, like I said, they were so caught, yeah, there was a separation. They were so caught up in like, I can't do this. I can't, I can't keep up with the image that we need to present, you know, like, and I know I'm taking this to like the real superficial realm, but it's like, you know, if, if we don't have BMWs and we don't have this huge house and we don't have the perfect amount of children and it's like, and they felt so much pressure that they were like, I can't do this. And they threw their hands up.
but they do want to marry you. They do, they do want a union with you. And there's that soul connection. And as you guys go further, you know, this, this, um, relationship's going to go more into a spiritual experience. There's going to be sudden change. Um, you know, maybe even an upheaval between the two of you to go, okay, I really want to be with this person. It doesn't matter that we don't have the BMWs and all this, you know, Range Rovers, blah, 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 you know. Um, and maybe that's not you, it's them. Or they think that's what you want. You know, maybe it would be a time to clarify. I don't need all these things. If we have those things, nice. If we don't, you know, love and spiritual love and soulmate love is much more important than any physical things that you feel like you might need. Or they might feel like they have to present to you. You know, do this as it reads, but... Um, You know, and of course it depends on the situation, but I feel like if you can, let me see, let me get some clarification here. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. You know, and this message could be for them. But, you know, maybe you might want to reach out and say, you know, because maybe you came from a rich background and they're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know, like someone who is used to a certain style of life. And I'm not saying that you're not going to get it, with, especially with these two King of Pentacles right next to each other and the Empress. You know, it's a very abundant, you know, set of cards right next to each other. You know, it's time to be honest, you know, not only with yourself, but with them. So you're going to have to decide if you want to wait for them to come forward. But I'm kind of feeling if... This is a scenario that I'm speaking of because it could be reversed. But if you're feeling like they were feeling pressured to be able to come at you with a certain wealth factor, then it might be worth your while to go to them and say, I don't need all these things. They're nice, but I don't have to have them. And that could ease the pressure that they're feeling. So, I hope that was helpful. And we are going to move on to number two. All right, so this is card number two with the beautiful quartz crystal. here. All right. We've got lots of cards going on here today. Okay, so what I see right away is that there was, um, let me see. Right up here, you've got two of the two of swords. There's a stalemate between the two of you or a choice that needed to be made. And this could be some kind of a third party situation. And the only reason I say that is because this particular one has two men 
fighting. And take that as it resonates, but generally those mean a stalemate or a choice. You've got the king of swords, so someone turned cold. They were tired of the stalemate and they were tired of fighting. There were some sharp words that were spoken. This person has definitely not given up. Even though they've gone cold and silent, definitely some heartbreak involved. There's definitely love. There's the Ace of Swords, so somebody wants to speak. There's the, well, there's the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So there is going to be some communication going on. And they want to still build with you. They, and they want to not only build a solid foundation, but they want to see other things grow around you and in your relationship. I feel like they offered you something. And either you chose not to take it because you weren't quite ready or it was such a lame offer. You're like, seriously, that's seriously what you're going to offer me. But you've got the, um, the sun card here. I think maybe you were more interested in like a full on, you know, take it how it resonates, a higher level of, of commitment. And they were offering you what I'm getting for some of you is something smaller than that. And we've got the sun card, which is the happiest um, card in the deck. And to them, they felt like this was a beautiful offer. This is something that they felt proud of and their heart was in it. Their heart was truly in it. It's like they were offering you their heart. You know, and the King of Cups is right next to it. So they were offering you, in a mature manner, the love that they wanted to offer. But I think it was met with resistance. Because <laughs> I think you thought this, this um, offer was going to be much more substantial than it was. You know, and there's the King of Swords here and the King of Swords here. Somebody went way cold because they, they felt like you rejected their offer. And it was, it felt like a death to them. They're like, oh, I've just been rejected. They detached and they're feeling pretty devastated because they thought this was a decent offer. They thought this was good. You know, of course, they discovered that that wasn't the case. That you had other expectations in your mind of where you thought the situation was going to go. So this actually might have something to do with a third party for some of you. Because we've got the Two of Swords here. And then we've got um, looking over your shoulder the other woman. So for some of you, this might have been a third party situation where someone else got in the mix and destroyed the situation. It's interesting that there's two storylines going here. So for the first ones that I mentioned, for this, you know, smaller offer than you wanted. There's a butterfly. It's a relationship evolving, going to the next step, and healing and growth. So I think you're going to be able to move past this. You guys are just going to have to be really communicative on, you know, um, going back and saying, you know, to be honest, I was kind of ready for this. And, and then when you offered this, I was startled or however you want to word it so for the ones that has this third party situation yeah somebody had many options um, they were feeling like somebody was stringing them alone and they had a one night stand with someone 
and either it was you or them and they found out or you found out and you just backed away you became cold this is interesting that this is a two two different storylines or maybe this weaves into one for all for all of you or some of you or two of you i don't know um Yeah, someone, they're waiting a message from you. But you're disgusted by the situation. This with this third party situation, you're like, screw you. If you're going to do this, I'm done. You're trying to heal from a broken heart. You know, this was a toxic relationship or some kind of an addiction. Yeah, of course, you felt stabbed in the back. You know, you were shocked by this deception. You know, and you're trying to seek solace in being with your friends. You know, asking support from friends. Okay, so um, since there is two storylines going here from how I'm reading it, um, the Twin Flame cards came up. I was like, is this the one where somebody was cheated on? Or was this the one that someone did this lame offer? And I'm hearing for, for the two storylines, this um, Twin Flames applies. And this person who cheated, um, there's, it's like a very immature energy, like... This person was trying to sabotage this situation with you. And I feel like it's unconscious where they, they're coming into this realization that there is some kind of connection between the two of you and they can't name it, they can't figure it out. And it was a way to try to see if, we, if they could get, get away from it. Because they're very unconscious. And, you know, Twin Flames is where, you know, it's kind of like two souls split into one or some, whatever the hell it's, it is. Um, yeah, exactly. They, they tried to sabotage it. They're resistant. And the other storyline where the person offered you this lame offer or in your estimation it was a lame offer um they're sending you kisses there's unconditional loving giving and receiving and they're falling in the other there's love for this first storyline now with and I'm, I'm assuming that the um the connecting is both of these are you know twin flame connections and uh let's see for the one who got cheated on Things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. Because you want stability in the situation. You know, at this time, they're just running like crazy. They're running, running, running. And then when they realized their error and you found out, because it was almost like they told, what I'm getting is they told you. Like, oh my God, this is what I did. I think that for the majority of you, they just came clean and said, okay, I had this situation happen and this is what I did. Because it's almost like they had to do this to realize they, that they care more for you than they originally thought because they're so shallow in their thinking. And in this depth of a twin flame connection, they weren't ready. They had zero clue. And this affair or this one night stand whatever it was, made them realize, what the hell am I doing? There is something much more than um, having sexual relations with someone. Yeah, exactly. They're the runner. They have a fear of intimacy and they're listening to their ego, which is hence why they would choose to um, you know, have a one night stand. And now they're trying to um, get clarity and a revelation and they're trying to understand the situation that happened to them. And 
to me what I'm feeling is they're like, oh my God, I've lost this. I've lost this with you. You know, and you're going to have to decide if you want to give this person another chance. I feel like the best course of action is to give them time. And what I'm hearing is roasting in their own stew. Whatever that is. You know, and you guys are mirroring each other. Maybe because they did it, you decided to do it. You know, go have a one night stand. Um, and what I'm getting for the one with um, the storyline of the person who gave the lame offer, um, right now is not the time that they're going to communicate with you because they're still pretty raw about this. But they still want so much love with you. So for the for the people who um, had the lame offer, it is definitely not over. For the one who got cheated on, you're going to have to decide if this is something that you want to pursue further. It might be you might be well served to kind of just give it a rest, see what happens. Okay, for the person who got cheated on, let's see, what do you need to let go of? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and um, spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy outside. So get out in nature so you can do some of your deeper healing, okay? And then for the one who got the lame offer, Surrender to the silence of them being cold to you. Surrender to it. This isn't a quiet meditation or contemplation. Let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. I hope this was helpful. This was unusual to have two storylines in um, one pick a card. But hey, that's what happens, right? And maybe for some of you, the storylines blend into one, but only you will be able to know that for sure. So I wish you all the luck in the world. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how this resonated with you. I'd be fascinated to know, especially with the two storylines. And we will see you next time on the Medium of the Light Tour. Thank you so much. All right. This is pick a card number three. It's the amethyst. First off, this person feels a lot of love for you. And they're trying to contemplate how to approach you. This is a very young energy since it's the page. Right next to it, you've got the emperor. Because this young person is feeling trapped in the situation, but there's a part of them and this, and what I'm getting now is you might be older than them or they might be older than you. Flip the story as it reads. And there was some kind of, like someone's feeling trapped, but it's their own. For some of you, it's of their own doing. For others of you, it's like they're already in another relationship, they um, are married, and I think both of you did not expect this to happen. This was something that was, you, you both were unprepared for, especially with this age gap. Both of you want justice in, the, in this situation, but there's lots of burdens. I 
I feel like this could have been like a teacher student kind of a thing or like both of you were students but one of you is much older or older and the person who is the older one has much more burdens than the younger one they could be married with children they want to move forward with you and I've got the justice and the judgment and I've got actually two justice so both of you want this justice both of you did not expect this this was something where it's and I can already feel that it's a very highly um, spiritual connection and like both this just kind of sideswiped both of you Yeah, somebody is very abundant. You've got a lot of majors here too. You've got the emperor. You've got justice twice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven cards out of one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's half and half. So this is like seriously a major side swipe where you did not see this coming and neither did they but you guys cannot deny that the situation has occurred and you're like oh my god I, I didn't know a spiritual connection like you existed and this person that is married um, the relationship they were in was already I hate to say dead, half dead but it was just serving a purpose of you help me financially, I help you financially, we have kids, we have a house, we have retirement, like all the things that you build when you're a couple. Um, see that there's like two or three kids involved. They're a little older and getting like teenage vibes. Definitely communication. Both of you want to go into calmer water. And this younger person is definitely coming at you like, we can do this, we can do this. You know, because they're a little bit more freer on their situation than the older person. And both of you are kind of hesitant because you're like, oh my God, I didn't think this was going to happen. And it's, you know, kind of like these two young people and the devil trying to offer them things. You know, like the sexual chemistry is off the chart whether you've had relationship relations or not, there's actually gonna be, um, and the reason for this is there might've been a quarrel about, you know, this, this you guys, there's, this situation is so intense, like as far as the energy goes, um, you guys are gonna have to negotiate with each other and you're gonna have to innovate your thoughts on it. I mean, and I'm not gonna be surprised if a twin flame card comes out, because this is like off the charts energy. All right. Cupid's love, have faith in love. Um, you're, yeah, a surprise, uh, an invitation or a meeting. But of course there's hesitation with this quarrel and the devil. Wow, talk about getting yourself, um, you know, to where you didn't see this coming. It says meeting someone new, dating and getting back out there and setting a date. I think you guys were studying together or like working together and 